But it's a good word, gang. Matt here, country song teacher. I've had a lot of people on Snapchat and uh, Facebook and that kind of thing ask me about practice techniques. Um, so here's a great one, a hammer-on technique that you'll hear me use a lot of times on my country worship tutorials, all that stuff. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's going to use the four chords. I'm gonna, if Just for this sake, I'm going to go E minor to C to G to D. If you want to know how I play those, uh, a close-up lesson, type in uh, Matt McCoy first four chords. Uh, Matt McCoy first number four chords. You'll see a real close-up because I lock in these two bottom strings. I go E minor, then to a C, then to a G, then to a D. And I, by locking those two bottom strings, it allows me quick movement to transition those chords as opposed to all the switching on and off, that kind of thing. But what you're going to do is... So all I'm doing there, every time between those chords, I'm using my first finger, I'm keeping those bottom two locked, I'm going, I'm hammering on that fifth string, second fret, then go to the fourth, then play the fourth open. Hammer on fifth, hammer on fourth, fourth open, then Me using all that stuff if you want, but it's a great practice drill. Whenever you get your guitar late at night, early morning, whatever, and you just want to pick up your guitar and play it a little bit and, and learn something, really work on this drill. Just again, a hammer on, you hit the note open, and then when you press it, you see it goes burr. a hammer on goes up, a pull off goes down because you start with the finger on there. So up, down. We're doing all ups, all hammer on. And you're going that second fret. You get a lot, bottom two locked. So you're going and down the four string, and then just fourth open. So hammer, hammer, open, up and open. So just E minor. Really a C at nine. People write me all the time. That's a C at nine. I get that, but this is how I play my C chord. And go up to G. And what a lot of people, what I find they'll do when I'm teaching lessons, I used to teach them in person, but even now I see online and stuff. And I did the same thing too. You want to get too good too fast. And the key is keep a slow, steady tempo and get that timing down. And just over time, your fingers get more callous, your muscle memory to your fingers get better and better, and you'll get where you can just go faster and faster and blend it into the song. So it's... One, two, three. So you, if you're a beginner, you start with this. Then you can do a hammer-ons and palm mute. And, and 
so forth. You can add them in the songs there, but um. I'm treating my soul. I'm treating my shame. I'm laying it down. Joy of the Lord. I'm treating my secrets. I'm treating my pain. I'm laying it down. Joy of the Lord. When you see the storm, oh yes, yes, Lord. You see how that sound kind of spiced up, and I was just playing G. C, E minor, D for two. When you add those hammer ins, palm mutes, and all that kind of stuff, it makes it sound fancier. So, so guitar is a lot more than learning just chords, strumming patterns, uh, hammer ons, lead in, scales, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, it's a little technique I thought I'd show you real fast. Subscribe and check out Guitar Teacher 44 on Snapchat. I've been getting a lot of videos out, having fun with that. Yeah.